So that's a, an overview of the rendering capabilities of Deep Exploration. Now what I want to move on to now is technical illustrations and give you an overview of how, uh, how you can create technical illustrations in, in Deep Exploration. Now high quality technical illustrations are deliverable for, for many companies now. Uh, they're used for instruction manuals, um, they're used for assembly instructions for both customer uh, maintenance staff um, and it's essential that these illustrations reflect the exact product that, that they represent so that non-skilled staff or customers can easily relate to the images that they're seeing. Now, Deep Exploration has a set of tools dedicated to creating such images and we're going to use this, this transmission assembly so I can quickly show you how we, can, how we can go about creating them. Now firstly, Deep Exploration has, a, has an illustrating viewing option in the, in the main toolbar so we can see what any model looks like as a technical illustration. Now if you're creating technical illustrations then there's a few key things that are characteristic of those illustrations. Firstly, the, the thick and thin line definition between uh, outline and internal lines. Uh, secondly, are the detailed views of hard to see areas. And thirdly, the call outs that reference perhaps a, a bomb table or a table of contents. Um, but also thrust lines as well. Um, they're, they're quite an important characteristic. So I'm going to go ahead and, and show you how we can create some of those, some of those aspects on this, on this model. Now what I've done here is I've just quickly selected a few uh, components, so outer casings and the lever at the top there, and we'll just quickly go in and create some callouts. So I have, a, I have an option here to, to select everything in my, in my parts list, so you can see I've done there, and then it's just as simple as, as drawing those callouts. You can see that we've got here a, a numeric callout, and we can, uh, we can move those around into any, uh, any area of the viewport we like. We can also change the change the setting. So, if we wanted the uh, the part name, for example, different font, we can say that we want them to be in circles, rectangles, and there's a there's a huge amount. You can see the different tabs here. There's a huge amount of options available to you to to change stuff. We can change the leaders to to different arrows or dot heads or or whatever we want. So that's creating callouts. The second thing that I mentioned in that in that list of characteristic aspects for illustrations were were detailed views. So we created a detailed view earlier on when we were looking at markups. And it's no different here. Then we just, just select the select the icon, drag a little circle around the around the area, and drop the detailed view somewhere else in the viewport. We can also change aspects of that view as well. So if we want to change the the outline, we could change change that to, to an arrowhead. Like so. Okay, just uh, just apply that. Okay, so we've got our detailed views in place. Another thing that we that we might want to put on here are the thrust lines. So it's a very simple process as well. We can just simply select the two components and create the uh, create the thrust line. Now, a nice little feature of these thrust lines are that if I go ahead and move one of these bolts around, then I'll have a little jog created in that line. As you can see there, that jog's been created. And we can move those, move those jogs around, move them up and down. And anyone you know comes along and, and moves these bolts, then those lines will always update. That's our line illustration created. Just show the output size. Make sure it all fits in the fits in the box. And we've got a couple of different options for exporting this. The first of which is rendering to a, to a vector image. Now, um, most commonly, you will render to an Adobe Illustrator file, perhaps. Um, and that's what we do here. Now, Deep Exploration also comes with a free to download product called Deep View. And it's a, it's a free viewer. And what we're going to do is we're going to render to an AI file and then view that file within Deep View. And this is a, a common scenario. You could perhaps do this with clients, um, and you would uh, ask them to download the viewer so that they can they can view your files. Just here, we can see that we can uh, specify those characteristic thick and thin lines. We've also got advanced settings for this for for added control over our over our rendered image. So let's just go to Deep View, and we can simply drag and drop this new new file, this AI file. And there's our there's our illustration. 
Now this is a this is a vector image, so any one of these these lines we can select, and you know if required, then we we can go ahead and, and tidy up that that image. Okay, so something else that's quite characteristic of technical illustrations are are cutouts and cross sections, and there's a very comprehensive cross section tool within Deep Exploration. However, what I'll show you here is is cutting out an aspect of, of this model or reducing an aspect of this model. So we'll just reduce these, uh, just minimize these detailed views. And I'm going to create a cutout so that we can see the internal gearing system of this transmission. But I just want to create a cutout local to the uh, to that main main housing. Let's say we want to cut a, a quarter of that main housing and make sure we got some outlines when we when we cut that and then select the casing and we can see there that's created a a great a great view for us we can then use our other option for exporting this and that's as a as a raster image so we just render this just as we were rendering earlier on you can see we can we can save this image to JPEG. I suppose PNG would be the most common formats to be used there. TIFF, perhaps, and insert that into our into our technical publication. Okay, so that's a that's a quick overview of technical illustrations. Um, as you see, quick and easy to create.